Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, we're going to be doing a simple uh, cleaning of the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan revolver. Uh, this revolver is chambered in 454 Casula as well as 45 Long Colt. Uh, this revolver is on loan to us from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. Uh, it is part of Stan's private collection and Stan does support the channel by loaning us firearms for us to clean and tabletop review and test. So let's go ahead and give uh, SS Pond a little bit of support. Give them a call and they will take care of all of your firearms needs. Well guys, cleaning a revolver it does not have to be a difficult task and I do these videos for the person that that might be that might have purchased their first firearm or their first revolver and they just want some basic advice um, again it's very simple to get into so what you're gonna need for this cleaning is uh, your favorite uh, cleaner you can use rem oil CLP whatever doesn't matter anything that's going to clean lube and protect uh, some cotton gun patches now in order to save some money you can just cut up a cotton t-shirt if you want to it'll basically be the same thing I like to use the patches for cleaning videos uh, just some various brushes bore brushes you want to make sure that you use a, a soft copper or soft brass brush don't use a steel brush especially on a matte stainless steel finish you can also use some old toothbrushes if you have any sitting around um, I've also got now I don't have a bore snake to clean this with to clean out the barrel or the uh, the cylinder uh, but I do have just a basic little pull through uh, poly brush that I'm going to use to get some of the debris out of the brush and the cylinder itself um, any kind of cleaning rod to put your patches on when you're done and always a morning cup of freedom so this morning we're drinking some black rifle coffee company instant coffee got to have my coffee when I do these videos it makes it so much more enjoyable and then also guys just a little plug uh, if you haven't checked it out make sure you get over to the armory channel over on YouTube uh, there's a guy named Pete that's had a channel up for a long time I just want to throw a little props out to him he was the first gun channel that I ever subscribed to and has inspired me to make the videos that you see today so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get started okay guys so a common complaint that I get in my cleaning videos is that at the end of the cleaning video the firearm is overly lubricated or used too much oil on it something I always mention in the video and something that a lot of people seem to miss out on is that I do wipe off the pistol or revolver rifle whatever with a dry patch to take off any excessive residue I don't leave the guns overly oiled you don't want to because that kind of thing can collect dust it can cause fouling at the range and so on so uh, also I forgot to mention make sure you got yourself some q-tips it'll make some of that fine detail work uh, so much easier all right so obviously the first thing we want to do is check the revolver and go ahead and make sure that it is unloaded now I've already confirmed this but just to check in on camera okay we are good to go so I'll take six rounds of 454 Casul. Um, go ahead and gently open up the cylinder. Again, you don't want to fling it shut at any point during these uh, cleaning during these cleaning sessions or when you're out at the range. I like to start off just by wiping out the inside, uh, the area where your cylinder rests, inside your, your chamber area, I guess you could say. And you can see that we've got some residue on here. This firearm was fired before I took it out. Um, if you have some excessive carbon buildup towards the rear, you can get yourself your soft brush and just scrub it out a little bit if you need to. Uh, toothbrush or your soft brass brush, whatever works best for you. Okay, and again, just like to wipe that. I like to wipe it out until I don't get any more carbon popping up on the, uh, the patches, showing up on the patches. Let's give it a little scrub. Okay, it looks really nice. Um, again, you don't want to take the rifle, or sorry, you don't want to take the revolver apart. I just about said rifle. Uh, again, you don't want to mess with the timing unless you know what you're doing. So again, just leave the gun assembled as is, and we're just going to clean all the possible surfaces that we can. All right, let's go ahead and focus on the barrel next. Okay, guys, so what I like to do is just let that barrel marinate for a little bit. I shoot a little bit of CLP down there, let it soak. Okay, and then also put a little bit about a little bit of CLP in each cylinder. Again, you don't have to go too crazy. A little bit of this stuff will go a long ways. Oops. There we go. Put a little bit on the rear. Now, when it comes to cleaning the front of the cylinder, I've heard some people say that they've used uh, mag wheel polish on the front of it and then they scrub it with like a soft bristle brush. Why don't you guys chime in below if any of you clean your revolvers or have a stainless steel revolver, what do you use? What do you like to use when it comes to getting that powder residue off the front? You can tell the uh, revolver has not been fired a lot because you don't have a lot of residue on the front of the cylinder. Okay, so if you have yourself a bore snake or have yourself a cleaning rod with that 45 caliber bristle brush on it, uh, you can just follow the same procedure. It's going to be the same way. So I'm just going to go ahead and push this little poly brush through the cylinder. Well, through each of the chambers. Okay, so there's number one. And number two. You can do this a couple times if you want to. And uh, we'll run a patch through it to get it cleaned out. Again, a copper bristle brush would probably work better. A more traditional metal brush would be better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one of those in a 45 caliber. I need to pick one up. We're just going to run this through one time. Now, I'm going to go through and repeat this a second time, but I'm not going to show that on camera. I'll just save you guys the time of doing so. Again, just hold on to the, to the revolver the whole time you're using it. There we go. OK, 
Okay, now let's go ahead. Now again, I'll do that a second time off camera, but we're going to go ahead and clean out the barrel. So we'll go ahead and just take the bristle brush and push it through. Nice thing about this little guy is that it just goes right through. If you have yourself a boar snake, it's going to be basically the same effect. You can go through the front if you need to. Um, I prefer to go through the rear on these uh, barrels. There we go. All taken care of. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next step. Now, if you got yourself a boar snake, you can run that through a couple times, and it's going to do the same thing as what we're about to do here. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I don't have a boar snake in that caliber. So I'm just going to take a, a patch, a clean patch, dry patch on a cleaning rod, and just run it through back and forth a couple times through each of the uh, chambers on the cylinder. And it is pulling off a little bit of residue, a little bit of powders coming off on there. Not too dirty. Again, this is one of those revolvers that I don't think has seen a lot of rounds put through it. You can tell by the wear on the cylinder and as well as the amount of powder residue on the front of it. Although you could clean the gun up really well. Okay. Okay, got that all taken care of. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the barrel. Okay, now for this one, we're going to go ahead and just go through the front. Again, the gun is kind of covered in oil, and that's fine. We'll go ahead and get that all cleaned off. I'm going to go ahead and check the barrel. Show you guys it is nice and shiny. I've run that bore brush through it a couple times. Might be hard to tell, but it's it's good to go. We're basically all set there. Um, I'm going to continue with my toothbrush and just kind of scrub around this area and just wipe it out with a patch. You guys can do that on your own if you want to. That'll save you a little bit of time. And uh, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, guys, so we're about a little more than halfway done here. No problems at all. Uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and wipe off the extractor rod and go ahead and press it and just go ahead and wipe off behind the extractor rod where your extractor comes out, behind the cylinder. Just go ahead and give this a nice little wipe. Again, light oil is going to be fine. You don't want to over-lubricate it. I want to emphasize that the whole time. I so cannot wait to get this out to the range. It's going to be awesome. Uh, by the way, on the channel, guys, it's going to be a two-part series. I'm going to first show it with uh, 45 Long Colt just to see what the uh, oh what the recoil and accuracy feels like uh, at a couple different distances. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then we'll come back and fire some 454 Casul. Uh, with the extractor bar, just go ahead and take your Q-tip with a little bit of oil on it, just a dab, and just go ahead and wipe out that channel. Again, this is where we're going to get into the fine detail work. And the amount of time you have to spend on it really does depend on uh, how dirty your, your revolver is, how long it's been since you cleaned it last time, and so on. Just go ahead, again, light lubricant just to protect it. And you'll find the, the more often that you clean these uh, firearms, the easier that it gets as time goes on. Okay, go ahead and pull back on the hammer. And just take your gently oiled Q-tip and just kind of get in there a little bit, wipe stuff out. You can also take your clean cloth and just wipe off around the hammer area. Again, try not to dry fire, but it's not the end of the world if you do. Okay, you can just kind of get in there. Again, if you notice it to be excessively dirty or if there's a lot of debris down there, my recommendation would be that you take it to a gunsmith to get it uh, cleaned up, get it cleaned out, get it re-oiled, check the timing, and so on. There we go. Very, very cool. All right, so again, just take that lightly oiled cloth and just go ahead and wipe the whole revolver off, and uh, we'll finish up. Again, there's probably some specific lubrication points that you try to focus on. Uh, when it comes to cleaning your revolvers, guys, go ahead and chime in in the video down below and leave a comment if there's anything else that you recommend that I do to this uh, revolver. But again, it isn't too dirty, and I cannot wait to take it out to the range. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. It covers what you need to know, the basics of cleaning a revolver, the basics, basics of cleaning the Ruger uh, Super Red Hawk Alaskan. It's going to be an awesome gun. So Stan, thank you for loaning me this uh, firearm from your private collection. Cannot wait to take it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. I've got a ton of cleaning videos on the channel you can check out. Again, they're not assembly or necessarily manufacturing videos. They're just straight up cleaning videos, and they will help you if you're uh, new to the field or you just buy yourself a new gun and you want a little bit of basic advice on how to clean it. We're definitely here to help you out on the channel. So please like or subscribe. Guys, you can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on GunChannels.com. i got a podcast called Caliber Corner. It's on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you check it out. I'm also over on GunTube.org. My channel name is TravisP11, as well as GunStreamer and YouTube. You can find me everywhere. So guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I want you to, uh, to have fun. I want you to be safe. Got a lot more range videos coming down the pipe, especially with this bad boy in it. And uh, as always, guys, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a great week. All right, bye-bye.